Hi designers, this is Tammy from SketchUp for InteriorDesigners.com and this video is part two of a series that I'm doing showing you how I move through a entire house remodel and addition using SketchUp um, from start to finish. So in the first video I gave you a short walkthrough and I showed you how I measured the space while I'm standing in it using SketchUp. So check out part one. And if you remember uh, in part one, I said that I had already done the design for the kitchen because that was something the client needed right away. So I wanna kind of rewind and show you um, just a short bit about the kitchen. I won't be able to show you everything, um, the, the entire process for the kitchen specifically, but um, I will do that for the rest of the house. I'll try my best but um, I just wanted to show you how we landed where we did with the kitchen design. So this is the before, this is the kitchen area here, this is the dining area, and this is the living room. It's a very small home, and this is just a small part of it. Obviously, we don't have bedrooms, um, bathrooms, the garage attached to this uh, drawing at this point because they just needed something very quickly. So the kitchen area is just a 12 by 12 foot square, basically, and they were trying to decide what to do with this area here. I'm going to show you the before photos, maybe jog your memory. Um, this is after demo, of course, and um, they were just feeling a little bit stuck. So this is when I got brought in. Um, this door right here, you can barely see it to the left. That's to the garage. And this is the opposite wall. And this is the area that they were trying to decide whether or not to demo. And I'll show you that. I'll show you why in the next slide. Um, but they wanted to try and keep the appliances uh, somewhat where they were. The stove was here, sink was here. So we were trying to, and, and that made sense to have the sink stay as it was. So here's one of the renderings I came back with. Um, and you can tell it's not the most amazing rendering. It doesn't have the doors. Doesn't, this is the front door area, but it, it gives the client an idea of the massing and the feel. So it's, it's enough for this stage of the design. It doesn't have to be a realistic photo. We don't need to put so much time into the very first drawings uh, because they're gonna change almost certainly going to change. So this is kind of a, a first stab at it just to give the idea of the client an idea of the massing. So this is with the peninsula and we were trying to decide um, between having a peninsula and moving this wall back slightly or just having a U-shaped kitchen because it is such a small space and this will start to eat into our dining area and which uh, will also eat into the living space. So here's another view of that and then our U-shaped kitchen. So after a lot of thought and standing in the space with the drawings, we decided to go with the U-shaped kitchen. And then, uh, of course, you know, everybody keeps thinking about it and working through it in their mind and standing in the space. And in the end, we decided to actually bring in an island, even though there's not enough space for it, we took out this um, block of cabinets. And I'll show you that drawing here. So this was our final drawing, and you can see that we did take out that block of cabinets here. I'll click through the different views. This is without the island. They decided they want a somewhat portable island, and they have an eclectic um, feel to their house of what they're going for. So they wanted the island to be its own piece of furniture and somewhat open, depending on uh, what they could find there. So that's one view. Here's another view. And these are the actual materials that they chose at the cabinet shop. So it's going to be this dark, um, darker oak, um, the grayed out oak, white on top, and the scalloped backsplash. So I was able to show them the scale of what their backsplash was going to look like. And then I like to give them a slice of each so that they don't have, we don't have to squeeze those views Here's another slice, and again, a third slice, and without the island. 
And then using these slices, if you've taken my 3D modeling course, you'll, you'll know that I use these slices then to develop my elevation drawings. So I just flatten those slices and I change the style to a black and white. And now we can pull our elevation drawings from those. And our last one, a bank of cabinets here so that they have some sort of buffet area and um, some more storage. And then I take another slice from the top and that becomes our plan view. So after all of these drawings are done and we've kind of worked through the schematic um, in SketchUp, I then take it and I send it to layout. And that is my design documentation. This is not layout, this is an exported file from layout, but um, I was able to export a PDF um, of the different slides within layout and layout super helpful um, because I can uh, keep documentation of my designs and I can add notes, I can add title blocks, I can add my logo, the date, more information, and I can call out certain things. So I sent these different scenes after I, after I saved the scenes, they were sent to layout and this is the document that I produced there. That's just the different slices. I can email this to the client. I can email this to the cabinet shop, which I did. Um, you can see that the style is, is different here, but it's basically the same. Um, and then I added dimensions and notes. So also I wanna show you the renderings that um, we came up with as we were working through the material choices once the um, layout was set. We wanted to know about the um, color choices and how those would fit together. So this is start, uh, starting with a white um, white cabinets and then we moved through the renderings and um, we thought through this option kind of having the tall uh, cabinets be white with the uppers and then we worked through <laughs> bringing the wood all the way up above the refrigerator and we didn't like that. So again, we went back to having the uppers and the tall um, cabinet there be in the white with the wood option on the bottom. And so SketchUp is really great with this because once you have the model built, you just need to switch out your materials. It's just the click of a button um, with your paint bucket. So this was really handy in helping my client work through um, what the cabinets would look like. I'm really looking forward to showing you what the final product is. The kitchen cabinets are being installed um, right now. So we should be able to see those somewhat soon. I might wait until the cab till the countertop and the backsplash is installed at the end to show everyone. But I uh, stay tuned for this final product. And um, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I planned for the addition of the third bedroom. Uh, to this two-bedroom house. I'll see you there.